everybody, what's going on? Late May, May long weekend actually, and I'm out in a spot in region 8 that I've deer hunted before but never bear hunted, but uh, gonna get out by myself and look for some bears. I'll be sleeping in my canopy this weekend and it should be fun. Shout out to the two guys I saw on the Crow's Nest Highway who recognized me on the way out. They're definitely going on a hunting trip, so good luck to you guys. Comment if you see this video. Let me know how you made out, because I'm curious. But uh, yeah, let's get after it. Let's go find some bears. Well, not super green, but uh, it's May 20th, so the bear should be out. I'd be out, stretching. But yeah, we'll keep looking. Uh, looks good, so keep on the search. Okay, so I've just been driving around uh, looking for bear sign and bears. Haven't seen anything until just now. I'm starting to run into a few piles of scat on the ground. I drive till I see scat and then I usually get out and hike, but we're gonna keep driving because I'm a little bit lazy, but I think we're gonna see something here coming up. So this is where I'm camping for the night. Dead end road down there. But I'm just gonna unload my stuff and start setting up. I got a Cabela's cot. They're about a hundred bucks. It fits right in there. Perfect. My bed is six foot six inches long. That fits. I got a nice bed roll, heavy duty sleeping bag, so I'll be pretty cozy and get it set up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's a pretty good setup. I'm not gonna lie, I like this a lot. Lots of room. I could even do cooking inside the canopy. I just crack the windows a bit. But I'll be cozy tonight and then I'll get up. Uh, first thing, drink some coffee and hit the goddamn road looking for some bears. Alright, so it's gonna be chicken. Either chicken and rice tonight. I need a fire. Just hanging out, enjoying it. See him? Just went out of sight. White tail, little white tail buck. A little bit of spring weather. Well, I still haven't seen any bears or any bear sign today. Cool area, like massive area, expansive. Uh, probably be good moose and deer habitat, but yeah, not see any bears, so I think I just gotta completely relocate. Yeah, I gotta lose some elevation, get down low, find some green spots, and focus my time there. All right, not seeing any bears, so I need to increase my bush karma here. Pick up a few cans and not only is it the right thing to do, but sometimes I feel like it changes your luck in the field. So we'll see, <laughs> see what happens now. Come on bears, let's go. So we got a rabbit on the left of the road. I'll try to point him out. Yeah, that is he? He'd be like there. And then on that side of the road, there's a grouse, and I think they were hanging out. And when I came around the corner, I broke up the party, but it's kind of funny. Rabbits are not open right now, or I would love to eat his little back straps. Quite surprised he's hanging out there. Oh, he looks tasty. His little legs. Hey, hey. It's a white tailed deer. Hey, come back. Got there quick can barely be discerned from behind the tree. That is a white-tailed deer. You know, even if you don't get a bear on your bear hunt, you could just call it a scouting trip, right? I've been seeing lots of deer, and uh, so, so far, no bears, but hey, I found a new deer hunting spot. All right, you guys. Um, I'm sorry, but I did not get this on film. I was driving along, uh, it's evening now, and I haven't seen anything all day. Uh, and I looked over and I was just about to turn the truck around and kind of start heading back and making camp and Getting ready to head home tomorrow calling it a scouting trip But I looked over and there's a brown color phase bear looked like a decent medium-sized bear I threw the truck in park turned it off ran down to a rock and got my rifle up on a big rock And I made a really good shot and the bear went down immediately Did a bit of a death roar when it's just it's still in the exact same spot. You see it laying there. So we got a bear down um, 
uh, it's it's 8 40 p.m. so we're going into night ops I hate night ops but I'm gonna get down there and I'm gonna start getting to work but I'll definitely take the camera and show you guys what we did I thought it was I thought it was a done deal I didn't think I was gonna get anything this trip and I was okay with that but yeah no I've been driving all day looking and uh, found a nice bear and made it happen so let's go check it out and go park the truck and all right bear down over there somewhere. There it is. Looks like a good bear. Dead. Dead, dead. Keep the rifle safe. Don't want to have an accident. Looks like a boar to me. It's big. Oh, it's beautiful. White chest patch. Wow. I've never seen that in a bear that I've shot yet is the chest patch. That's a really beautiful bear. Oh, he's cool. Nuts. That's perfect. Beautiful brown color phase black bear boar. That's like, oh, he's big. Oh man, I got my work cut out for me. My truck. Way up there. We're gonna quarter him and I'm gonna pack it up. And it's not too far of a pack, but yeah, yeah, we're going into night ops. So I'm just gonna get started. Beautiful bear. Look at him. He's awesome. So excited. 2022 beautiful brown color phase black bear boar couldn't be happier didn't think it was gonna happen but I stuck to it made it happen I'm pretty stoked on that and uh, actually at the time of this video the channel just hit 2,500 subscribers so I just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel who watches the videos I do it for fun it's a uh, it's fun for me to get out here and, and film these adventures and I'm glad that you guys enjoy watching them appreciate all the comments and just thanks for watching the vids and Let's keep it up, and I uh, hope everyone else is having a good spring season as well. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Beautiful, beautiful bear. He's got a big head. And can you see the chest, please? Yeah. Let's see. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Thank you. It is. May 21st. And I'll let you guys know that this is a Region 8 bear. And it's cool because I've never been in this spot before. So this is my first time exploring this particular area. Awesome. There you go. Black bear tag cancelled. Good to go. Okay, so we got the bear processed. Get a few giant game bags, quarters, back straps, neck meat, rib meat. And it loaded up the Mystery Ranch Metcalf. I'm gonna make two or three trips. Not gonna kill myself trying to do it all in one and learn my lessons from years past. And I gotta get all the way up to the top of the hill where my truck is, but we're doing good. All right, see you guys at the top. Super good feeling getting back to the truck. When I went down for the second load, I couldn't find it because I didn't leave a, a mark on my phone or GPS. So I was just circling around out there in the dark, then I realized I don't really know where the truck is and I started freaking out, but I was able to reference Google Maps and figure out where I was, but uh, just a pro tip, mark your location so that you know what you're, where you're at. You can make mistakes when you get excited out here. So careful when you're doing stuff, especially when you're skinning an animal, anyone who hasn't done it, you work in all sorts of awkward positions, working around the wrists of the animal, and it would be so easy, and I've done it before, and I've seen friends do it, is cut themselves with their own knives while skinning, which is what you do not want to do out here, so just be super careful. Filming all this is a pain in the ass, you guys. I swear to God. Whoa. There's one. Up. There you go. I think it did a 
decent job of that. There you go. So that's cold. Hey, remember when I did some cleaning for bush karma? There you go. Lesson. Lesson for all you guys. Clean up when you're out there and things might go your way. Bush karma. Okay, back in the truck. Got everything in the cooler. Back of my truck's all sorted out. Oh, it's so good to be back in the truck. It's almost not fun out there doing that stuff. It'll be fun when I'm hanging out at home making bear tacos, bear burritos. It'll be a little while from now, but I think I'm gonna roll back a little bit. I'm, I'm way out here, so I just wanna make tracks and get a little bit closer to town, and then I'm gonna set up camp in a spot with cell service and crash for a few hours and head back to town tomorrow. But I'm super happy I got that done, and I hope the video is turning out good. Thanks for watching so far, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. Uh, here's an elk on the road. Rolling out the next morning. Love it. Cow elk. Well, I'm back at home. The butcher shops were closed May long weekend, so I'm dealing with it myself. But I uh, still got some more meat left in the cooler. Yeah, clean that up and I'm gonna put it in the freezer and I'll end up taking it to a butcher because they just do a much better job than I ever could. Lots of nice meat there I was able to pack out last night. So pretty happy with that and super happy with the hunt. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you on the next time.